What's up, y'all? It's Big T. Happy Monday, and welcome to Linker Trivia. I'm excited you're here. We're going to have a blast today. I have some great trivia that is sure to test your knowledge. Before we get started, I'd like to thank Linker for giving us a bunch of stuff to give away. Everything is about Traeger today, so we got a Traeger thermometer. We got the Sweet Rub and, oh, excuse me, the Sweet Rub and the Sugar Lips Glaze. All of that. So, Every time you need to barbecue, you're going to have to have this stuff. So, you get, blah, blah, blah. so be the quickest to answer all five questions and you'll be the new owner of these awesome prizes. This week's topic is all about Tra Traeger Barbecue. And I thought, you know what? Before we get started, I'd like to introduce my boy, Jared Littner, who is actually sponsored by Traeger. I mean, I think that's a little befitting that he'd be a part of this, right? Well, it's a good thing I showed up because you said sweet rub. I know, I know. But I was trying to read the telephone. Chicken rub. See, if anybody's going to... I have known this rub. guy for far yeah, too guy. many years. I mean, far too many years. So let me ask you this. You just showed up. You're sponsored by Traeger. Yep. Did you bring us something? I did. I did. I heard about the event and I got this butcher paper. And the other day you were at my house and you're like, Butcher paper? Are you butchering something? No, dude. It's for like it's true. after you smoke some ribs or you do a brisket, you wrap this back in there, and it's got all the. Check that out. Look at that. He he is absolutely right. Forty-five. I had before. not used butcher paper before, and I apologize. So oh, that's nice. glad. That's why we brought him here, right? For quality control. That's why we brought him in. It's not because no, he's it's, good looking. It's just like in the old days when I used to have to clamp your mess on the basketball. <laughs> <laughs> is that, that's probably true too. So hey guys, between this, I think this is a fifty dollar value. Ten, ten. This is a fifty dollar value. We're we're getting up there. We're getting up there. But you know, we got twenty eight people on here. That pen so, is awesome. I was telling you about yeah, that yesterday. Yeah, actually was. And I was at his house. Last night. I was at his house, and he's like, "Hey, do you got one of these?" I'm like, "No, but we're giving one of those away on Monday. How awesome is that?" And then I was not using it while I was triggering on Saturday night, and I overcooked my pork chops because I didn't have the pen. <laughs> Somebody's gonna have it. Uh, so anyway, let's get started. It's gonna be a lot of fun today. We're gonna keep this guy around because he's a wealth of knowledge. So <laughs> imagine a cold beer in one hand, a nice rib in the other. It's pretty much the best part of summer for me. Grilling out back, friends are over, kids are in the pool, beating this guy at cornhole. Traeger definitely makes, uh, takes a lot of the work out of cooking, which is a blessing, but you still need to pay attention to a few things, right? I think if anything, you just need to set yourself up for success. There are a lot of different options, and of course, there are always a lot of trends. So, like, what's one of your favorite things to, to cook? I mean, I've seen um, you cook Tri tips. Everything. I love tri tips. All day, right? I mean, like, carry bakes in there. And, yeah. I mean, but tri tip for me, right? I mean, everything. It's a, for me, it's just about getting outside, yeah. right? Yeah. That's lots of fun. So, for Q1, what is the most popular meat used for grilling? Is it beef and pork, fish, or chicken? Can I answer? Nope, you can't answer. You probably know this one. So, I know which one you eat the most. Traditionally, these <laughs> meats are more common because barbecuing in general has its roots in using tougher, less valuable cuts and meats. Although today, these days, barbecue establishments use great cuts. Some even cook prime rib as one of the menu items, right? And yes, the answer to this one is actually, that's right, beef and pork. Look at that, 15 right, four incorrect. All right, so you guys can buy back in, we keep playing. Hopefully I nobody think. answered bass. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to get really hungry. So all this talk about barbecue and hanging out with my friend here, I really love the summer, good times. Let's just hope that this summer is better than the last summer, right? and we get to cherish time with friends, which we love to do. But let's continue to be safe, and here comes your next question, right? So, your guests are starting to arrive, and you're going through your checklist, ice in the Yeti, check, beer, check, potato salad, check, pool floats, blown up and ready, check, baseball game on the big screen, right? Basketball too, right? Yep. Uh, and now it's time to get the party started and fire up the grill. You all feel me? Yeah, that, so that's what we're talking about. But we need to figure out what should we use to season the food to make this the best barbecue ever, right? Traeger has a variety of rubs that are amazing, but one in particular is their coffee rub. So, if, um, I mean, I've seen you use all the rubs. You've probably used every single one of them. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, which yeah. one's your favorite one? I like the big game rub. I mean, that's really good, like pretty much in everything, but 
Traeger rubs good. Again, it's all good. Yeah. And, and what's cool about it is, depending on what mood you're in or what whatever, you change it up and mix them together. We've even created some of our own using the Traeger rubs. So it's kind of kind of cool. I need to try more of them for sure. Oh yeah, your stuff. So for Q2, what is the coffee rub used for? Is it pork, beef and vegetables, or chicken? Which one is it? Do you know? Do you know? I, well, I know. <laughs> I know, but I saw what Zane wrote, so. As stated before, Traeger has several different rubs that were specifically created for specific uses. Duh. They have a chicken rub, a beef rub, that's a no-brainer, the fin and feathers rub, even a jerky rub, right? But the coffee rub is one of my favorites, which is designed specifically for, wait for it, that's right, beef and vegetables. Hey, that was a tough question. It was a tough question, kind of right off the bat, right? That means it's still so seven. I thought you just put it in your coffee maker and you make coffee. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, geez. So I want to try each and every one of these rubs. Actually, would love to hear from you guys. When the event is over, hit us up on our Instagram under Linker and tell us what your favorite rub is. I know, I know. It's a back rub. And no, you're not getting one. So don't even try that. So. But he's, he gets sore a lot. Oh. He's out there fishing and he gets... <laughs> I, Carrie, I know you're not giving him one. Jeez. Yeah, so that's, let's that's keep bad. going, right? So remember how we were just talking about all the different barbecue competitions around the U.S.? There really are some crazy ones out there. I was actually watching one of the food on the Food Network on the other day, and yes, I watched the Food Network, Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. You know that show? Uh, yeah, it's absolutely my favorite one. Anyways, when I saw this thing, it gets it gets, gets crazy. I mean, ridiculously crazy, guys. There's a legit roadkill barbecue competition. You can't make this stuff up, I kid you not. Roadkill competition. Trophies, blue ribbon, all that. Hopefully, we can find something to go with that opossum. So, <laughs> in Q3, <laughs> what is the best side dish to go with barbecue? Not opossum, according to Google. Is it baked beans, watermelon, or mac and cheese? Mac and cheese. What about potato salad? I, I only had three spots. I like potato salad. <laughs> right? That, obviously. You put some veggie rub in that <laughs> potato salad, that's good. Uh, hey, I wonder where people get some of their ideas from. Like the thought of putting pasta and some mayo together and call it pasta salad. Something, you know, something with potatoes. Who thought of this stuff? Because I would personally like to shake their hand and say thank you. You don't get to be this big without, or that big, without loving all that good food. I also like to shake the hand of the person who made the first pot of that's right, baked beans. Because they got the right answer, right? But I do love baked beans. You can't, you can't, can't but you love my mom. You, you love my mom. She makes, yeah. Some she's probably amazing, watching right now. You can amazing. tell her about how yeah, no, it's, best beans are. Yeah. Come over to our house, we'll get you some beans. So let's move on. Actually, for years, I used to add brown sugar and maple syrup to my beans. Then Bush's baked beans came out with grilling beans. I'm not, I'm not sure if you had those, but those are ridiculous. They must have heard about my secret. That's why they did it. That, that and the dog. I think it's the dog, right? So, Tammy doesn't let me We eat actually it. toured the Bush's baked bean plant. Did you really? Yeah. Are you sponsored by Bush's baked no, beans? No. I gotta get no. me some of those. No, we'll I'll hang out with you if you did. Okay. All right. As stated before, one of my favorite shows on TV is Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives. I've always had this goal of riding my GS through the South and hitting as many barbecue joints as I could. Yes, the barbecue is wonderful, but so are the people, and that got me to thinking. Out of all the states that are known for barbecue, according to Google, which state is number one? I mean, Man, you I have been it. through yeah. uh, just about every one of the states, right? I mean, yeah. what's one? Just give me one of your favorites. Man, Texas. Yeah. Tennessee. Yep. Uh, New Orleans. I mean, uh, just that's not right. a state. Is it? New Orleans isn't a state. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say no on that, but I wasn't gonna bring it up. So anyway, <laughs> the state of if anyone's Alabama. in the state of New Orleans, give us a call. <laughs> so for Q4, which state is the number one is number one for barbecue? Is it New Mexico, Louisiana, and Tennessee? This is according to Google, and partially according to my man here, Jared Lidner. So notice that California wasn't an option. All I have to say is Santa Maria style barbecue, right? Tri tip all day, boom. That's right. Representing the family, just saying. It's the way you go, you know, if you haven't done it before, do it, you'll thank me later. But hey, I'm up for a ride to the state if it means great barbecue and that state is Tennessee. 
got number one. I, I think it's going to be worth it. You know, it's, it's pretty mean. You've been there. Yeah, you you fish, you uh, you fished in Tennessee. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going there in a couple weeks. So I'll be in Tennessee. Rudy's. Rudy's Barbecue. There you go. Really if you're good. out there, Rudy's. I love it. I'm sure people in all other states are going to put up a fuss about this, and I don't blame them. So I'll tell you what. I'm going to go, go for a ride to each state and do my own research, and then I'll get back to you. All right. In the meantime, let's move on to Q5. So... I'm sure you all heard about barbecue competitions that are, ha that are held all around the United States and these guys don't play around. They have years to refine their craft into the outright art form that it is today. Guys, I'm telling you, this stuff is so good, it should be hanging on a museum wall next to the Mona Lisa, right? Everything from sauces to the grill to the smoke to the heat, the sides are even judged, right? Which leads us to our last question, question five. You said potato salad was your favorite side. Yeah, for right? sure. Okay, <clears throat> all right, we'll remember that next time you come over to the house. What is the name of the region of pink meat called after it has been smoked? Is it the best part, <laughs> the smoke ring, or the crust? <laughs> oh, you can give it, that was Zane. Sarah, Good job, Zane. All the above. There, right, <laughs> it should be all the above. This is really making me want to go out and grill and start off the summer right, right? You know it's been a rough year and I think we deserve it now. While it's the best part of one of my favorite personals, favorite personal, how do I say that? I don't even know how to say that. Is your personal favorite part of your I like it a lot is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but it's the smoke ring. Yeah. Depending on how long the meat is smoked, it can create an 8 to 10 millimeter ring filled with oh so good flavor. So. Look at that, four of you got that correct, zero incorrect. Some of you guys are playing really well today. It's like you guys have had a, uh, enough sleep. They had a little sleep over the weekend and they're coming with their A game, I like it. So we had more than one person who got them all right, right? So that means that it's a tiebreaker and it's the quickest to answer, right? That wins the prize. That's why you gotta have your, I always tell you guys to warm up and get your trigger finger ready. So congratulations, make sure you visit your wallet in the Linker app to claim your prize. Congratulations, it's a big prize, it's the biggest prize we've given away so far. And if this doesn't end up being in there, it's probably because it's at my house, just so you know. I don't know, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it for today. I would like to give a big thank you to everyone for playing and to our event sponsor, Linker, and also Mr. Littner himself. I also want to thank Traeger for making me look good when the neighbors come over for dinner. Honestly, guys, if you haven't tried it, go out and get some. Traeger is the way to go. You will not be let down. It's that good. Speaking of getting filled up, do yourself a favor and click on the profile button and then on the links button so you can buy some links. Bulk up, it's cheaper when you buy in bulk. Duh, that's how the world goes around. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my event feed to stay up to date on upcoming events and get reminders when it's time to play. And I think we're, we should do like pulled pork or something this week. Are you, when are you as long as you got a pen. <laughs> right? I got the pen. I got the pen. <laughs> this might be used when you get there. And remember, oh, guys. What's your paper? It's time for Jared's channel. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Linker. See, he's all Mr. Linker's finally bringing some value. I I, we forgot to tell you. I got a channel. Mr. Littner, aka Jared Littner, is is gonna have his own channel. Team right? Littner, and we're talking about fishing and traveling and everything in between. So. Traeger. Traeger. Traeger in. But yeah. The most guys, of it's going to be a lot of fun. He's, uh, the guy's a wealth of knowledge when it comes to bass fishing, that's for sure. And a couple other things, too. He's a pretty good basketball player. <laughs> Not he's anymore. A, he's all right. He used to be a good basketball player. I was there. <laughs> I was there. So, thank you guys for playing. Thanks for coming. We appreciate you. Thanks, Jared. Thank you, Carrie, for bringing him out. Right? Trust you, Carrie. We love her. So, love you guys. Have a great night. See you tomorrow, 4 p.m. Cheers. <laughs>